So, maybe I'm sick of doing intros, so I'm just gonna start. Um, basically, I wanted to film a Halloween look. I mean, I've never done it. I've never really celebrated Halloween. I don't go trick-or-treating. It's not really common in Australia compared to like the US, I'm pretty sure. So I've just never tried to do this. So I found some inspo from a Snapchat filter. I found some inspo from a Snapchat filter. I'll put it up right now. It's just like, it's probably, it's like ugly as like grungy in the actual photos. Like the black smoky eye panda look but I want to try and make it a little more glam with like lashes and like I really want to do that neon. So I'm going to try to recreate I'm thinking of just doing the pink one and not like both colours. Who knows, this could be a total fail, but I really wanted to film. So I hope you guys enjoy. So I don't think I have like an artist creative side, but we will definitely find out. So I'm just going to quickly like do my face makeup, like foundation, concealer, powder, a MAC foundation and a revolution foundation because they can see them fine So now I'm just going to contour, so this is like do your normal routine sort of thing and the reason why I'm doing it not so Halloween like full skull because not, not everyone can just like sit there for five hours and start shading in your face and like knowing where stuff is supposed to go. It helps anyone out there that wants to do something so simple but Halloween. So I'm just going to contour, I feel like a glam skull would be bronze even though they're like dead so not really because i feel like i would never just like go out with a full black and white face and i don't have the skill capacity you know how there's some people like caption their youtube video easy skull look and then they're sitting there shadowing in for hours look that's not easy so i'm trying to make this easy by doing your normal routine my face is like chubby i've got chubby cheeks i'm trying to be really harsh with the contour what i don't know is whether to do a smoky eye like the snapchat filter and like fully copy it or do like a pink like cut crease eye to make it more cohesive was that too much i feel like i'll do i'll try to do that pink first and i've never <laughs> i'm actually really scared so i don't know whether to do the pink and then the white Okay, let's map it out with a nude or white eyeliner. I have an eyeliner here. This is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. It's like one of those wind up, which is fantastic. I've got the picture, an upside down heart that's not filled in. So I guess I'll try that. Okay. So there's an upside down heart. We're just gonna leave that. And then, how am I supposed to do that? Put foundation on your lips, step one. Step two is do teeth. So they did one, eight teeth on the top. The top is like a teardrop shape. Kinda helps with your cupid's bow. Ooh. I guess I don't have to follow how many, so I've got four and five at the bottom. And it doesn't help that this is like the most blunt thing ever. So just repeating that on the other side. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to try to do those cheek bones. So we have one line from your actual cheekbone that comes on top of the teeth. And then that one just connects there. So, that's low-key right. How can you tell if it's even? That's definitely not even. Okay, that's too high. One from the highest point here to the middle here. Okay, I made a little adjustment. So in the Snapchat filter, it like closes, but I just like 
extended it into a point instead of like so I'm going to trace those white lines with the pink, my trusty BYS Festival palette, very good palette. And then I'm just going to use like a, my eyebrow brush, like one of them. Like I'm just going to use that sort of pink. Like I don't know how I'm supposed to look, make it look neon without base tune, of course. The eyeliner kind of acts like a base because it's something to stick to, the shadow. You can't see that. I might do a darker pink because of my complexion, but I'm pretty sure when you put the white on top of the pink, it will make it like obviously stand out. So I'm just gonna trace all the pink. Well, I'll do that. I'll catch you guys up. Basically, my my camera phone, because I filmed on my phone, it broke the camera and I had to get it replaced. That took a while because I had to back up all my stuff on my phone on like my laptop that ran out of storage, which I mean, that's crazy so then i was like oh i'll buy icloud then couldn't buy it because my itunes account was disabled and then i realized it was this i had to call them and like get it this unable disabled what i had to get it not disabled i don't know what the word is they were realizing there was suspicious behavior on my apple store so they realized someone's trying to buy stuff that you usually wouldn't someone's trying to you know, use your credit card and then they just disable it, which I guess it's smart. Got a million emails about someone trying to purchase things because I'm so gullible, I'll fall for it. Put my card details in like an idiot, not think anything of it. I want, I nearly got scammed. I put my, like verify your yeah, Apple ID. I did, you have to put your card number and shit. So I did and then I realized, no, I didn't realize, Daniel told me that it was a scam. So I quickly like transferred everything out of that account and then the next morning, there were like 250 someone was trying to purchase something for 250 it was like this game so then i got a new card and that was such a mission anyways yeah that was trying to ha happen again so then i finally figured that out bought the icloud that's already ran out it took a while and it kept ca like failing because my internet is shocking and then i finally backed it up and i went to the apple store so i replaced my camera basically here we are it doesn't look good at all i'm trying to wet the brush which is really gross and like chemicals have been on it i don't know i just forgot the purpose of me telling that story is because i wasn't able to film with my front camera because it's getting replaced and all that now i'm gonna get a little fluffier brush and blend it out a little bit now that I have two uterus looking fallopian tubes on my face, I don't think I did it right. I th so I'm just going to add like a dark greyish colour with a fluffier small brush. But okay, so I'm just going to draw a white line. Okay, when you put the white line, you can definitely see how uneven it is. I don't know what I can say. I'm not going to do the pink eye. I feel like it's going to be too much. So I'm just going to use browns. So I'm just going to do a bunch of matte browns everywhere. And put some falsies on. And hope the falsies save it. I'm going to be really messy with this as well. Does it look better? I put lashes on. I add some highlighter. I'm kind of deflated because of how shitty of a job I did, I feel. Like, would I go out like this? I have no idea. Probably not. And I kind of smudged pink. In. And then I wish, like, amateur. 100%. At the end of the day, I just have to practice some more. <laughs> I don't know if I can even get a nice photo. I mean, I guess it was fun. It was just frustrating because I just did shockingly but i guess i hope you enjoyed i don't know what i could do to improve this just not do it at all let's compare how did i go i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it probably isn't a tutorial at all i honestly thought i'd do an amazing job but here we are don't forget to give it a thumbs up i don't know why you would because like anyways you are already here so might as well subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one